to fun with nails my name is tina thank you for joining me and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe i've gotten a few new subscribers in these last few weeks thank you very much i love getting all the new subscribers and if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up Hit that bell notification so you get notified each time I upload a new video, which lately it's been very recent, um, going very strong. Been doing a lot of manis recently. So today I am using a pumpkin. This is from 2020. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a tickle in my throat. Um, I'm using the solid strips while well, they're kind of a shimmer um, from pop it like it's hot and These are really cool because they kind of let's see if I can I can do this on camera They kind of get like a green Shift And then I'm using no holding black and we're going to use some nail art stickers for Halloween. So this is going to be my final Halloween Manny for this year. And I'm really excited for this one because I think this one's going to turn out so cool. Okay. So I'm going to use this on my thumb. Strip stuck to the back. There you go. So this is going to go on my thumb. And I'm going to use the little pinkies. And then we're going to save the rest of these. So I haven't, I think I opened, I think I may have used um, a few of these last year. Did I use these last year? I don't remember. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I haven't used these since 2020. They still feel fabulous. Again, flat iron. Just seal her up. All right. Now the strips from Pop It Like It's Hot. Now this I'm going to use on the rest of my nails and we're going to do some fun stuff over them. I was debating between this and using Glow Getter and then I was like, ah, I really want to save Glow Getter. So this can go on my ring and my middle and this one can go on my index. And if um, anybody hasn't seen Pop It Like It's Hot, it's a nail art set that has uh, popsicles on it, I believe. Yeah, it had the popsicles and looked like little kiwis. And I'm trying to remember. I believe I did a video with the set um, before using the, um, the art strips. If I can find the video, I will link it in the description. I love this orange. And while I was prepping my nails, I was watching Heather's recent video, Heather from Heather's by the Bling Nails. Um, she did one with 
Smoke and Mirrors. I haven't used that set yet, and I really want to use it. Um, now we're going to be getting into November. And I can do some more. Uh, start using some more fall sets. really excited for that. But I have had lots of fun doing these Halloween manis. And I believe this is number 11. Can't believe I've done, <laughs> I did 11 Halloween manicures. Whew. I do not have peel base on because I want this mani to last me for a few days. Um, the last manicure that I did with Loch Ness Mon or yeah, Loch Ness Monstrous. Ugh, I was at work and. I was only working for five and a half hours and I ended up taking a big chip on my thumb. And I was like, no, I wanted this mani to last a couple of days. <sighs> so here we are. We're doing another mani. Um, and actually you, from the time that I'm recording this to the time that you'll see it, it's going to be a couple of days and hopefully I'll still have this on <laughs> mm -hmm. because I'm not working these next three days. So there's no reason why I should have any, any chipping or any of that kind of stuff going on. So this funny thing, my, well, it's funny, but it's not funny. Okay. So this week, my husband has had just a horrible week at work. He, uh, he went to deliver a load and the company that he was delivering to rejected three pallets on his truck or on his trailer, I should say. So he's contacting his, the company he drives for, and they're telling him that, uh, he needs to contact the broker because the broker is the one that I just got a chunk of dry skin here. And my husband's like, I did contact them and they're not doing anything about it. So now what do you want me to do? So they ended up telling him to bring the load to the um, area where he gets uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, where where he parks his truck for the week or the weekends when he's home. So. He brings the load there, or the three pallets that are on his trailer. He brings them there. And then they send him out on his on his dispatch. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Where he gets dispatched from. So he, he goes um, on his next dispatch that he got um, scheduled for. So he heads out to go pick up at that next load and 
all of a sudden he's in he's on a back road um, highway so like a two-lane highway and all of a sudden um, his truck is making all these noises and he uh, his truck is spitting out antifreeze <laughs> So then he has to contact his, um, his dispatcher again and tell him, Hey, my truck's broke down. I'm on the side of the road. And he's like, yeah, we already know because, uh, the company that he works for, the, um, the shop that, does all the fixing on the trucks and stuff is they actually have a link to their trucks so if any kind of mechanical issues or any of that kind of stuff happens that it sets off like a check engine light or whatever they instantly get a message which is kind of cool so then they ended up contacting a company that could come to the side of the road get him fixed enough to get him to a uh, garage to um, get a little bit better fix on it. So that gets done. He, and that was last night. So this morning he gets a little bit better fix done on this truck, at least enough for him to finish out the week and to get to um, get back to the main shop for this weekend. Well, he goes and gets his next load and he goes to deliver it. Now this company is rejecting five pallets off of his trailer because they're saying that they're not the that's not their product they don't sell that stuff at their store i was like are you kidding me and he said no nope. so now he's sitting two hours away from his dispatch with five pallets on his truck that were rejected and they didn't tell him what he should be doing with these five pallets. He's just, he's just, oh, so upset. And I was like, I don't blame you. I would be upset too. And he, so then uh, just a little bit ago, he texts me and he's like, Oh, these stupid idiots. He's like, I don't know what I should, what I should do, but I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm just going to bed. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. All right. Well, let me know when you figure out what's going on and when you need me to come and pick you up. He's like, I'll see you in the morning. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, love you. Good night. I'm like, I didn't know what else to say to him. I'm like, I'm going to go do my nails and then I'm going to bed. I'm like, I feel so sorry for him. I feel just so bad. Oh, this no holding black is so pretty. All right. So I want to do it on my index and my ring finger. There we go. And I'm thinking I want to do a reverse. So if you haven't seen how to do a reverse um, glitter dip, so what, what I mean by reverse glitter dip, I'm going to have to put these in a different pack. Um, 
what I mean by doing a reverse glitter dip is to put the larger amount of glitter, which is in the middle of the strip, I want to put that at my cuticle. I guess I didn't know how to make an N when I went to start writing that. All right, so to do a reverse glitter dip, what I do is I kind of bend it in half, cut it in half, and then I want to take this strip and then I'm going to take the heavier glitter and I am going to put that at my cuticle and then voila. Now I got, now all I have to do is clean up a little bit on my cuticle area. But I want to push this down to make sure it's sealing at the edges. And then I just had a couple little corners here done to clean up. Cute. Just a little bit hanging over here. Not enough for me to get it off with my thumbnail, but enough to be annoying. <laughs> okay, again, I'm going to put it at my cuticle and up the nail. And I'm gonna push it down with my rubber pusher. As Stacy calls it, a squisher. And make sure I get a good seal all the way around my nail. And then I'm just pushing it off with my thumb. Sorry if I keep flipping my hand back and forth but I'm trying to get the right angle to there you go let's do the index fingers the same way I kind of just like to fold it in half because then that way I can get kind of the same amount on each It looks so tiny. You gotta be careful when you're putting it down over another strip because it's gonna wanna stick. It's one of those things, once you have it down, it's down. Especially if you use, I'm using the Nail Aid um, base coat. Um, if you're just starting out with Color Street, you want to not use a base coat because that way you can um, lift your strips and reposition them if they're not super sticky. 
I've had some really sticky ones that you can't reposition them even if you don't have a base coat on. This nail's a little bit shorter than the other one. And with these chunky glitters, especially on the tip of your nail, or the free edge of your nail, um, you want, if you have a little bit of a glitter hanging over the tip of your nail, you want to uh, use like a nail clipper or or like a cuticle nipper or whatever you want to call them uh, to clean up any glitter that's hanging over the edge. That's kind of why I like to do it reverse so then that way you don't have those heavy glitters or those big glitters at the tip of your nail or at the free edge of your nail. And this one, the strip didn't quite go all the way over, but that's okay because I'll just put a top coat on it. Okay, that's my thumb, which actually I can do that now because I'm just going to be doing nail art stickers next. I can't believe how nice and fresh these feel, even though they've been sealed for two years. Notice I didn't use my left thumbnail to push down. It's because the strip that I just applied is um, still fresh and it's, it's going to bunch up. So that's why you always want to do your thumbs last because they are your tools. All right. So the stickers that I really want to use is right here. I thought this would be really cool. a little bit hanging over the tip. I wonder if this will work. It did. Cool. I like it. I like it. All right. 
Let's see if we can get this one up. Where's my nippers? Oh, come on. Come on, you bugger. I want to clip my nail. I'm not as steady handed as Stacy is with this. All right. Now, top coat. I'm going to use the um, Salon Perfect top coat, especially on the stickers. And this stuff dries really fast. But I have noticed you do have to put a very generous amount on. Do the rest of the nails here quick. Now I drop my tips. Somebody's driving around outside. It's getting kind of late. It's like 10 o'clock. We got kind of a noisy vehicle. Allergies have been acting up so bad. Not good at doing my right hand. Definitely got to make sure that there's a lot on the brush. I always keep wanting to wipe it off. <laughs> you kind of feel the brush stick to the nail if there's not enough on there and there we go so we got hey pumpkin for the thumbs and the pinkies and then we got the base of pop it like it's hot with no holding black and some nail art stickers stickers. You have to let me know what you think in the comments. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.